Carter Center says the 39th president is at home in Plains with loved ones. New at 5, we're hearing from Carter's niece, Leanne Smith, about former President Carter's health. And we've talked about, you know, him coming home with hospice and all that, you know, and it's like, we're all like, you don't rule anything out with Uncle Jim. <laughs> you know, he might be out on a bicycle next week, you know? I mean, 98, you kind of doubt it, but you don't know. I mean, he bounces back, you know, but, you know, I mean, who can say they lived a life and accomplished what he's accomplished? And reactions to the news of the former president's health continue to pour in tonight. Let's go to Fox 5's Deidre Dukes in Plains. Most had already made plans to visit Plains this President's Day before learning of former President Carter's declining health and that he was under hospice care. At 98, he's lived a long, full life, and I think were I in his shoes, I would probably make the same decision. I knew he was up in age, but I'm still shocked. I'm a little shocked. The visitors' thoughts are with the former president and his family this President's Day weekend. We uh, adore President Carter and all that he has done. Diana Halton and her children drove in from LaGrange to pay their respects. Um, we followed him. We love him. We've been here several times, and we thought it was a good idea to come and just pay our respects and let them know we're thinking about him on President's Day. On Sunday, members of Maranatha Baptist Church, where the former president's Sunday school lessons drew visitors from across the country, offered a word of prayer for the Carter family. Lord, we'd be amiss this morning if we did not lift President Carter to you. Lord, we pray that you'd be with his family, Lord, those around him, and God, we thank you for his service to this nation. Tourists visiting the small South Georgia town where Mr. Carter grew up, the historical sites, shops, and museums filled with memorabilia, reflect on his life and legacy. Military vet Robert Smith says Mr. Carter impacted many lives over the years. He was a good president in my opinion. Uh, he did a lot uh, diplomatic work. Uh, he did a lot for humanity, uh, people building homes and stuff. So I think his legacy as a real kind, gentle man would, would stand. In Plains, Georgia, Deidre Dukes, Fox 5 News. On this President's Day, the Carter Center posted this quote from former President Carter. It reads, one person standing on principle can make a positive difference in the lives of many. The center wrote on President's Day and every day, we are grateful for the privilege of being part of President Carter's ongoing commitment to serving humanity. Georgia's own credit unions also honored the former president with a mural in the Atlanta skyline. The mural is 450 feet long. That's the length of two basketball courts. The art in the sign, which was made by local artist uh, Dane Jefferson, pays tribute to the former president's lifetime of public service. Jefferson was recommended for the project by Emory's Ethics and the Arts Program.